What is going on YouTube family? Today's video is about an often overlooked aspect of meal prep and those are the sides. You know, we are always so focused on cooking that protein just right that the sides are actually an afterthought. And if you think about it, if you overcook that protein and you have struggle chicken, having a good side can actually save that entire meal. So today I'm gonna to share with you all four of my favorite meal prep sides that serve various purposes in my diet. I think you're gonna to like today's video because the recipes are super easy and the best thing is you can customize them to fit your diet. Now, if you are ready for some meal prep fun, then let's get started. First, we have a Mexican quinoa that is also vegan friendly. The main complaint that I hear about quinoa is that it's bland and pretty dry. But this quinoa is loaded with moisture because it's cooked in broth. And then we're gonna boost the flavor content by adding in some black beans, some cumin, bell peppers. We're gonna saute some garlic as well. Trust me, it's banging. Add some olive oil to a pot, then add garlic and red onion. Gonna saute for one minute, then add in the quinoa. Sear the quinoa for about one minute, then add veggie stock and cumin. Pop the top and cook for about 20 minutes or until the quinoa is fluffy. Add black beans, bell pepper, cilantro, and sea salt and pepper. Stir it up, then cook for an additional five to 10 minutes. Portion it out for meal prep and enjoy. Next, roasted barbecue cauliflower. I gotta admit, I was not always a fan of cauliflower because I found the flavors a bit too harsh. But then I learned how to cook cauliflower and then I began to think differently about it. Now one of my favorite ways to enjoy cauliflower is to roast it and then mix it up with a special seasoning or sauce. I mean, come on, who doesn't like barbecue sauce? Spread cauliflower florets on a baking sheet and spray with olive oil. Season with a little garlic powder, onion, cumin, smoked paprika, and pepper. Give the florets a good mix in the seasoning and roast them for 15 minutes at 410 degrees. Place the roasted florets in a large mixing bowl, then mix together arrowroot starch and barbecue sauce. Pour the sauce over the florets, then shake the bowl to mix. Place them back on the baking sheet and roast for another five to 10 minutes. Next, bacon jalapeno garlic green beans. Yes, it's a mouthful because it is full of flavor. This recipe is a shout out to all of my friends who are following a low carb diet or a keto friendly diet. It's packed with tons of flavor and the green beans are fibrous enough to leave you feeling satisfied with just a small amount. Slice open a jalapeno, remove the seeds, and then chop it into pieces. Set a nonstick skillet on medium high heat and add the bacon. Cook the bacon until it's nice and crispy. Reduce the heat, then add garlic and jalapeno. Cook for about one minute, but careful not to let the garlic burn. Then add green beans and cook for another five minutes or until the green beans are soft yet still have some crunch. Season with a little sea salt, pepper, and lemon. Stir it up, then finally toss in the cooked bacon. Lastly, we got maple candy plantain. Without a doubt, this is my favorite post-workout treat of all times because the carbs in it help to replenish the muscle glycogen stores from training. Now, this recipe uses sugar-free maple syrup, but if you can handle it and if you want to, you can use real maple syrup or honey. Just don't go overboard with it. But if you want to just cut out the maple syrup and honey altogether, you can do that without compromising the flavor because the cinnamon and the coconut oil in this recipe pair beautifully together to satisfy that sweet tooth after a workout. Chop the stems off a of plantain, peel it, and cut it into small pieces. Add coconut oil to a nonstick skillet, then toss in the plantain pieces. Cover and cook for about six to seven minutes on low medium heat. Flip the plantains, then let them cook for another three minutes. Add sugar-free maple syrup if desired, then cinnamon. Mix the pieces using a spatula to ensure they are all evenly coated. Thank you all for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. 
Now, if you're like me, you love food, like love food a lot. Those are just four of my favorite meal prep sides, but I know there are tons more ideas and recipes out there. So I invite you to just share one of those ideas below in the comment section. And if you like and appreciate these types of videos, I also invite you to do a quick jab on that like button below. Until next time guys, I appreciate y'all watching. Keep it healthy, but never ever boring. Boom! <laughs>